What's up everybody? Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. I'm back at you another week, another video. What I want to show you today is something really special. It's another litter pulling video, but I honestly got really excited when I saw this. I actually gave myself like a little yes, because I've been waiting on these. It's such a long litter to wait for, and they finally dropped. I haven't even looked at it myself yet. I have no idea how big it is. All I know is that there was a little one in with the big one, so I know there's babies in there. Before we flip it, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons. I really appreciate you guys joining the Patreon page. It's growing, it's becoming something really cool, and I think once we get more people in that community, start chatting on that, it's going to almost be its own, I guess, like breeding or reptile keeping support group. That's what I see it as, at least. So, with all that said, make sure you check out my Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Jason's Exotic Reptiles. My website, if you're looking for some babies, I just put some new ones up. They are selling very quickly. I have more going up, and then these litters and clutches that we've been seeing over the past few weeks, they're also going up. With all that said, I will finally shut up and flip it. All right, guys, we are here, and I didn't mention what it is, but I will pull this litter out, or I'll pull this bin out, and we're all gonna look at it together. I still have not looked, but through this kind of window, I saw a little baby this morning. I hope everything's okay, because I haven't even peeked yet. So, I don't know if you guys know what those are. I think most of you do, but it looks like there's a little, you know, dead baby here, unfortunately. And then we have some perfect little ones. There's the mom. And let me see if I can show this off. What a perfect little Demerles Boa baby. So why these are so special to me is because it takes them so long to be born. I think this girl ovulated in uh, December or November time frame. What's interesting about Demerle Boas is, is that they shed almost as soon as they're born. So this shed that you see here is actually the shed from the babies. This girl yesterday had not laid her babies, but beautiful, beautiful babies. So I'm going to pull them and I have... My bin's ready here. I don't know how many we have, but we'll pull them and see. But what a pretty baby that is. They're born pretty big, too. I need to make sure to keep mom away from us because she's not going to be too happy we're taking her babies right now. Or she's looking to get away from her babies. She's actually doing pretty good. I'm going to just move her and we'll keep pulling the babies. The Merle's bow is a little bit different because they tend to borrow in the substrate, which makes it really hard to find them. So now that mom's out of the way, nice little litter. We're back, flipped around. I want to show off the mom here for a second because this girl is really, she's such a sweet girl. I got her at uh, maybe, I don't know, five or six years ago. She's a 2016 female Demerles Boas. Demerles do tend to grow a little bit slower. They're from Madagascar and they're from somewhat of a more drier climate as opposed to the Madagascar ground boas. So they are still referred to as Madagascar ground boas, but they are different species. Over the years, I found that it's not necessarily that demurls have gotten uh, rarer or harder to find, it's that the demand has increased for who, who wants them. Uh, and rightfully so, they're really cool species of boas. I mean, they're super docile, really great pets. They can be a little tricky to get eating as babies because they don't, they eat really readily as babies, but they don't necessarily um, eat consistently as babies. It's just part of a, a baby demurls bow. I think that they actually just have a lot of really good fat stores when they're born. So they don't necessarily eat weekly like, like a lot of snakes. Some of them do, a lot of them in my experience don't. They'll kind of start eating consistently and then they'll go on and off feed for the first year of their life. Then usually once they're about a year old, they usually take stuff pretty right on point. So I would just wanted to show off, she's an adult. They get much larger than this, or they can I should say. I would say she's on the small side 
just about to the point where she is mature enough. Now she has given me litters in the past. Uh, Dumerl's boas also, in my experience, tend to breed better every other year. Most boa species do, but a boa constrictor, a boa imperator, you can usually tend to breed them every year. Dumerl's boas are not that way. They just don't really breed. Their, their uh, gestation and their pregnancy is really long. She ovulated, I think, back in November. It is now May, so let's call that a six month as opposed to a regular boa, which is about four months, or a boa imperator, or boa constrictor, about four months. So, really cool species. I'm going to put her back, and let's take a look at some of the babies. We're back with some of the babies. These are actually all of the babies. The other thing kind of going into the rarity is they tend to have smaller litters. I had a litter a couple years ago and it was the biggest one I've ever had. I think it was 19 or 20 babies. It was quite a few for Demerl's boas. All of that playing into kind of the supply and demand of this animal. For a long time, this animal was a hundred to two hundred dollar animal. And in my opinion, it was massively underpriced. So. I went and raised the price to say, hey, if I'm not getting this, I'm gonna keep them because there's not enough animals on the market. And from that kind of lessons learned, I really need to keep growing a few more of these because the demand is still there and there just really aren't a lot of people working with these. There's a handful of folks who have successfully bred them, but the demand is still there because they really make cool pets. So there's one feisty one right in the middle, but super vibrant, really, really pretty babies. I mean. It's one of those snakes that I had when it was $100 because I just liked them. I saw them in books when I was younger and I really said, you know, one day I wanted Demerl's boa, but I can never find them. It's just, let's see if I can get a couple out without getting bit. Um, I can never really find them anywhere because the pet stores didn't really have them. If they did, it was a one-off. It was, you know, like a sickly looking animal and I just didn't want to take the chance, but they're just such beautiful babies. I mean, they have these bright, bright, vibrant colors, pinks, whites, blacks, chocolates, really, really pretty looking snakes. So again, with all that said, I probably in here have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven or eight babies. It's small litter. That's actually a pretty average size litter for Demerl's boas. And we'll see. I'm probably gonna keep a good amount of these because I really wanna raise up a couple more for my breeding group. Right now I have two males, two females, and I cycle my female. Basically every other year, this female will get the year off next year, my other female will go next year. Assuming that's how it all plays out. If they slug out, I get no Demerl's boas that year. So I do wanna increase my breeding group just a little bit, and I'm gonna make a whole other video just on how I recommend you guys get started in breeding. I may even post it, excuse me, I may even post it before this video. That way you kind of get an idea of what I would recommend for a first time breeder. It came up on my Patreon and I'm like, you know, that's a really good question that I'm sure a lot of people have. So I'm gonna make a big, you know, official video on it. So with all that said, I wanna show these, these little babies off one more time because they're super pretty. And again, I got super excited when I saw this. I just saw one of the little babies crawling in the front of the glass and I was like, again, I, I got excited. It's one of those things that I don't have a lot of I knew she had babies for a long time because she was sitting on her heat and I was just super excited to see some babies in there this morning. That doesn't happen to me very often anymore. I always get excited, but I don't get that excited for some reason. It's uh, maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting used to it too much. Now I am also looking at a Burmese Python in front of me that is coiled around eggs. So one of those videos is gonna be coming up. I'm gonna do another Burmese Python video. I may not post it to YouTube, I may post it just to my Patreon because I need to start making some more clickbaity type videos for you guys so the channel starts to grow a little bit more. These litter videos are awesome for my dedicated subscribers and some of my new, and some of my new subscribers, but it's not something that is gonna go viral and those are why my handling videos do best. Everybody wants to see me get bit. So with all that said, I am gonna close the video out here. Again, make sure you check out my website if you're looking for snakes, jasonsexoticreptiles.com, my Patreon if you're looking for more exclusive content and or that mentoring. I'm trying to use that as somewhat of like a one-on-one -on -one coaching, at least some of the tiers. Then again, there's others that are gonna be the community chats and then others that are just a general, hey, thank you for doing what you do. So go check that out if you are wanna subscribe to that or you want to contribute i always appreciate it i really do so special shout out again to my patrons thank you so much for the support and until next video or until next week let's keep it moving thanks guys